Hello pianist. In today's video, we will learn how to read by landmark notes and intervals. Now that you've learned all of the white keys on the piano and the black keys, it's time to start reading on our grand staff. Our grand staff includes our lower bass clef and our higher treble clef. The lowest note of the bass clef we'll learn is this low G or G2. The highest note is F5. In between, those are 21 notes to learn. That's a lot of notes to learn to start. So to narrow down that scope, I'm going to teach you by seven landmark notes. Think about if you're driving on a trip. A landmark is a location or something you remember to turn by that just to give you a precise location. Same thing on the grand staff. You're gonna learn seven notes which are landmarks to locate correct notes on your staff. So let's jump in with the one you've already learned, middle C. Middle C is a line note as the line goes through that note and it's in between our treble and our bass clef. Let's go up to our treble clef to start. So this treble clef is also called the G clef. As you look, there's a stylized G within that clef that actually wraps around this G, which is G number four. Notice that it is a fifth above middle C. This is an interval, so I can count one, two, three, four, five and I have a fifth above middle C for this landmark G. To help you remember this G, think about the treble clef as a queen. Give her a name, Queen Grace, Queen Genevieve, something with a G name to remember this is the G within our G clef. Then if you go up a fourth, one, two, three, four, you have treble C, which is C number five, an octave above middle C, go up another fourth, one, two, three, four, and I have this F number five on your piano. So in total, the treble clef has three landmark notes of G, C, F, all separated by perfect fourths. To help you keep track of these note names, use a little mnemonic device, go catch fish, using the first letter for those landmark notes. Drill those on the treble clef first. There's many apps and websites that will let you drill note identification. Once the treble clef is secure, let's go down to our bass clef for those lower sounds. I'm going to start with this F, which is a fifth below middle C. One, two, three, four, five. Notice the two dots that surround that F line. This clef is also called the F clef. In a similar fashion to our queen grace, think about this as the king for the low notes. Those are his two buttons. Maybe his name is King Frank or King Fred. That way we can keep track of that. This is the F. If you go down a perfect fourth, one, two, three, four, I am on bass number C, which is C3. Go down another fourth. I am on G, which is G number two on your piano. Notice like the treble clef, those are all separated by fourths. They are the same letters as well, G, C, F. So you can use go, catch, fish to keep track of those. Drill those seven notes till those become very automatic. It will take more time to learn all 21 notes on the staff with automaticity, so be patient on that development. To start to learn other notes, you need to be more proficient in intervals, which I've already mentioned with our fifth and our fourth that we've gone over. So let's look at our grand staff here. Even intervals, seconds, fourths, and sixths, they're all combinations of line to space or space to line. Odd intervals, such as thirds or skips, are line to line or space to space. Notice they skip over a note in between. So another odd interval, fifths are line to line, or they can also look like space to space. They skip over a space, or they skip over a line. Another odd interval would be the seventh, line to line, skip over two lines in between, space to space, skip over two spaces in between. And then the octaves would be that even interval of a line to space. Octaves are typically easiest to spot once your note identification is more automatic, that middle C to that treble C. So I would drill within like your C five finger scale, thinking, all right, up from C, I'm going to play a third. Get used to how that feels in your hands, not having to actually watch your hands. Up a second, I'm on F, down a fourth, back down to C. Up a fifth, G, down a second, F, down a third, 
Don't watch your hand, just get used to how it feels. Your ears will check if you're correct or not. Up a second, E, down a third, C. So I would also drill intervals on those apps or websites with interval identification. Let me just drill you on a couple. First one is here. Line to line, skips over line, that's a fifth. Line to space, that's an even interval. I see that this is one larger than my fifth, that's a sixth. You can hear it, line to space, that's a second. Space to space, skips over a line, that's a third. Become comfortable at those. Put those two skills of landmark notes and intervals together to be a successful sight reader and reader of music of all genres. So let's say you have a starting note of this and you can't remember exactly what that note name is, but you say, all right, this closest landmark note is G, up a second is A. Let's do some more like that. Closest landmark note is bass C, up a second, I'm on a D. Closest landmark note is that high F, down a second, I'm on E. Use those landmark notes to locate the other ones. Be patient. Remember, music reading is a lifelong, enjoyable endeavor. Thank you.